Hello everyone, good afternoon. Today my present presentation topic is in English in India from socio-cultural dimension. Why Rikhas Nam has taken this topic? Because English we have accepted as our second thing. So dimension of seeing towards literature will be automatically changed. So let's check it out that what uh, Rekhas Nam wants to say about uh, this. Rekhas Nam's research paper describes how English is made to fulfill the function of a second thing. He wants to say that how we have to use second language in our literature. So, as you know, English is taught as a second language in India, so many pressure with English is possible. Okay, we, have, uh, we are using English with, uh, creatively and of course we are making some traditional and cultural <coughs> words included. So, many pressure with it, it is possible. English, in, uh, English is used creatively and thereby the sociocultural words infused in, as I have already said. We are learning English for cultural expression, it is possible because it is second language. When we are portraying about our uh, literature, uh, of course we are using our traditional and cultural words in it. And that's uh, so uh, the charm of our language will be not lost. And the other person who is uh, 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 reading this, this type of novels uh, will come to know our, our culture and traditional words. Social structure and cultural sensitivity of uh, Indian culture creates a new form of English language. Now let's figure out what is the difference between foreign language and uh, the second language. English, we are, of course, we are taking second language. Uh, English is a second language. So first of all, a foreign language, it is not our own, own. So we are not using. So we are can we cannot say it is our own. But English, we have second. Uh, we have accepted as our second language. So we can say, uh, what we have a uh, very good knowledge of it. Uh, somebody are uh, going to take uh, nowadays uh, French classes and that's what, that's because they are interested in. But only interested are going to take these classes. But uh, we have taken English language, so we are using it and we are uh, using it in a communication also. It is used for absorbing the culture of the nation and second language is an alternative way of expressing culture of what's all. It produces bilinguals with a passive and receptive attitude. Uh, it produces bilinguals with active and creative interest. It remains language of reading and knowing, but not of communication. We are not in, uh, using that uh, language as of communication. But English we are using. Nowadays, uh, we are uh, students of Department of English, so we generally uh, uh, communicate in our class in English language. It remains passive, at usual, and it used creatively and expertly. In India, like French, German, and Russian, are, uh, we can include in, in uh, foreign language. And in India, English is our second language. Indian English has different English made of symbolism and use of structure. As I said that we are using our cultural and traditional words, so uh, we, it's definitely we have uh, idioms and metaphors of different, uh, different style. As it is a second language, there are many Indian uh, words which cannot be found in English. So we have to use those words in Indian concepts, such as we are using that uh, Pani Puri and Sarva Kavis and many more, which has not any translation in English. So we are uh, celebrating Yoda Devi. So if girl wants to say his father that, uh, uh, Papa, I am going. Uh, I am going to play with daddy. Okay. She will not say that. Papa, I am going to play with sticks. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so this type of words we are using because it will give the traditional and cultural impact on the reading. It is also a language in which a lot of Indian literature is being written. That is to say, literature by Indians about India, but in English. We are uh, we, we we are very know that uh, uh, Chetan Bhagat is writing in English. He is an Indian, but still he is writing in English because now uh, everybody is known English, and uh, everybody uh, and uh, still, uh, still uh, English is uh, second language. Still, Chetan Bhagat's novels are the most novels uh, uh, distributed in India. Some basic vocabulary, clause, food items, flora and fauna, etc., words from the native language of the writer are sometimes absorbed directly into English with as little phonological variation as English permits. Or they are literary or semi-literary translated, or their equivalents are found. Language and culture unseparably connected. Or connected. When uh, we are uh, writing about and portraying about our, our culture, then we will uh, uh, that the connection of language and culture will be connected in the like, literature. Language reflects culture. So there are many words which cannot be translated in English, and if you do so, it will lose the essence. It will lose the charm of uh, the language. And of course about the literature too. So language is deprecated in the sociocultural, religious, etc. Of course, some of the Indian words do, uh, do have their meaning, however, in English. But as I have said, it will lose their essence. For example, sari, but uh, again it will uh, convey the exact emotions. 
according to Rekha's term, the Indian writers would keep Sai as Sai in their work to connect themselves with the uh, uh, readings. The words like Shuhab and Sindhu cannot be translated as these words are not just words, they are our cultural concepts. You may translate Sindhu as great power, but you, uh, you cannot explain the cultural concept. If I want to give the conclusion of this topic, I would like to say that thus Rekha Islam deals with the creative dimensions of English and my topic is about the dimension of uh, seeing towards literature as uh, English. So, second language in India, she helps us to see how the sociocultural reality manifested at many levels of India. This paper helps to understand sociocultural reality manifested at many levels of language organization from borrowing. A lot of patience to idiom, metaphor, imagery, symbolism, and discourse in past to English and, uh, and English, uh, Indian English. I have taken these uh, references for to make my presentation. Thank you.